Hi, this is a short tutorial for Java, uh, Java database programming using Tomcat and MySQL on macOS. And if you have already uh, installed and installed Tomcat and MySQL, you can just skip the part one and part two for the tutorial. Go to part three. And here are my instructions. And today I'm going to show you how to use Tomcat. Um, first, uh, you need to check your JDK version because Tomcat, re uh, Tomcat 8 requires at least 1.7 or above. So go to any terminal window and type in Java C version. And if you don't have the JDK 1.7 and above, just go to any web browser and search for JDK download on my call. Okay. Click on this one and find the one that is uh, for your system and install it. Uh, after you install it, we can go to download Tomcat. Just search for Tomcat install or something like this. You can always find this page and find download Tomcat 8 and here click on this one download it and double click so now we have the extracted file the folder and if you want, you can move the folder to application, but you don't have to do this. You can just always use it where, where it has. Okay, I'm going to rename it for easy use. Tomcat 8. Um, let's look at the folder in here. The binaries are in this folder, and there are the startup and shutdown, startup and shutdown scripts here. And the configuration files are in this folder, and the jar files are in this folder. You can put any uh, external jar files in here too. Also, the log files. You can check the error message here and temporary files in here and also the web apps to be deployed are in here also the work directory is for the JSP to server conversion and now we are going to config configure Tomcat server go to this folder and here are the four configuration uh, files. Uh, so first, before you change anything, um, make a back make a backup. Always make a backup. So if you mistaken do something wrong, you can always come back using the original files. Okay. Mm. You don't have to actually you don't need to change any of the configuration files, but I'm going to change a little bit for my for my web application. Okay, so the default TCP port number for the Tomcat is in uh, mm, server this file is 8080 and this is the default TCP port number if you want to change it you can change it to any number between uh, 1024 to 65535 okay uh, just choose any number you like and I'm going to use the default number I'm going I'm not going to change it you can change it to 8888 if you want okay 
also in the web uh, this file default listing the default listing is false uh, this means uh, you can uh, change this to true to enable the directory listing you can change this to true okay and save it and context file here uh, you can change something here to make it uh, enable the automatic reload after code changes so you don't need to always start up and uh, start again the server you can type in here reload This will enable the automatic reload after code changes. Also, this file. These are the sample for you. You can uh, set a Tomcat manager. Just put something like the same role name will be manager You can put any uh, username you want and also the password. I'll just use manager and password for password. Save it. Okay, so the configure Tomcat server is done. And now we can start a Tomcat server. Okay, open a terminal window and go to the directory. The directory where you have the startup file. So, this startup file, where is this? Okay, it's here. You can go to the folder and then type this startup.sh or you can just use sh and drag the file here. I'll do the second one. Okay, the first one is go to that folder and start up using the file startup. And the second one you can just sh this. Okay, I'll do the second part where this is the file startup file. Okay, drag it drag it to here can you see this okay enter so now my tomcat server has started and open a web browser and type in localhost uh, I use the default 808 as my uh, port, port number and if you change it you can type in the localhost 9999888 whatever you change it mine is uh, 8080 okay and here is the welcome page okay uh, my username is a uh, manager and the password is password enter okay so now you can see this page. You can see all the applications. 
um, here are the default ones and if you add something uh, more applications here you can see it from here uh, when you start okay um, now we can shut down the tomcat um, same message uh, the file shutdown.sh drag it to here and enter so now my tomcat successfully shut down and that's all for today and thanks for watching and if you have any questions or I did something wrong um, please tell me and leave a message okay thank you